I think I'm on my Pearl Davis arc. I've started the channel about four years ago. Didn't get much into this relationship talk, but right now I am interested. Pearl had an exchange with Candace Owens. It was a very good exchange debate basically on X about prawn. And I'm not talking about the seafood snack prawn, which I had for the first time recently. It was really good. I actually liked it. A lot of It's hard to get the meat out of it, but it's um, very good, very tasty. But let's take a look uh, at the interaction. But here's the reason why, before we do that, here's the reason why I think I'm on this Pearl arc is I've seen these videos and I've seen them on X. I, I don't really use TikTok anymore. I don't know why I just don't use it. I see these in, these videos with the women crying. You already know where I'm going with this. I'm not someone that posts or cries or anything on the internet. So this is, this is a new one for me. Um, I just, I guess I need, I need girls to rally with me and lift me up because I feel so defeated right now. Uh, I've been trying to meet someone, just anybody worth my time for years. And like, and dating apps are so awful. I don't need to explain to you how- How many of those type of videos have you seen recently? The algorithm is, at least in on X, is feeding them. And I'm kind of tired of it now. At, at one point, I was kind of, I felt sorry for them. I think I've crossed that Rubicon now. I said, I don't care anymore. It's probably the same type of woman who dissed Harrison Butker, who had that very great commencement speech. Uh, and it's just a new genre of surfing the algorithm with these women trying to win an Emmy. And I think that type of thing has pushed me towards uh, Pearl Davis right now and that energy. I want you to take that energy. I know what's happening in our country is messed up. And if I knew that you weren't my political enemy, maybe I would carry. I, I don't even need to know much about you just to know that you're not my not my political enemy, kind of like Tay-Tay. So Tay-Tay is, this happened, when did this happen? Was it last year? Nope, this year, March. Wow, time goes by fast. March 29th, Taylor Lorenz is caught dancing at a prawn hub party. So I was like, she's got, she's maxed, she's masked up with the N95 dancing like Elaine from Seinfeld Hi. at a prawn hob party. And the reason why I bring that up is prawn is not something to be celebrated. Why are you dancing at a prawn hub? You're a grown woman too. But that's what the discussion was. The debate is about prawn. It came up from Candace Owens. I believe she sparked it off. Let's take a look at it now. Candace Owens says to ban prawn. She says, I quote, it is a psychological weapon intended to weaken our men. And I agree with the problems with prawn, but there's problems with a lot of things, alcohol, whatever else, anything can become a vice. But banning it is going to the government and the government is not God. The government, the role of government is not to alleviate us from sin. So let's not do that. But I understand where you're heading, Candace. Pearl Davis quote tweets on top of it and says, if women do not want to have relations with young men, what are the men supposed to do? Be abstinent until the 30-year-old woman decides they are ready to have sex with them? It's a fair question. So what she's saying is women aren't marrying young. Men and women aren't marrying young. And you do you what do you think is going to happen between that age and when they get married? It's not realistic to expect that there's not going to be any hanky panky or prawn involved. Nick Nick respond is this Nick? Wow, Nick responded to this a cultural issue. Okay, this is the leftist Nick, not Nick of uh, the other Nick. This is revolutionary blackout Nick, who I like a lot said, just teach your sons to have self-control. Stop looking for the government to solve your problems and take it. Wait a second. That's not him. He said, stop looking for it to the government to solve your problems. I thought he was, I, I'm a little surprised by that. She ain't ready for that gotcha. It's really too easy with these clowns. Wow. I, I don't know if he was joking or what. I didn't, I did not expect him. I'm not surprised by teach your sons to have self-control. I'm surprised about the stop looking for to the government. They're usually more government-oriented um, than me. Pearl went on and said, it, it is not natural 
for men or women to wait until they're 30 to have sex. Yeah, just common sense stuff. <laughs> Pearl is just a common sense person. If some if women are not choosing to get married young, what options does that leave for men? Somebody let me know. I, I don't, I mean, that's going to happen. Pearl says, what I value is honesty above all else. Prawn isn't the problem. Women not sleeping with their husbands is the problem. Yes, and I'd, I'm not going to blame women for that, but it, I, it is that is the heart of the problem, actually. I mean, that really is the problem. A lot of married men are actually on these prawn hub, and we're seeing the OF arise, and only, I think Jeremy from the Quartering, call, Quartering calls it only fools. We're seeing a rise from only fools as well. She defined what simp meant, and she did a good job doing that as a side note. But let's take a look at the conversation to end it here. She says, by the way, I'm not advocating for prawn. Of course not. I'm asking a serious question as a society. Women don't want to marry young. Women don't want to have sex with most young men. So where does that leave us? <laughs> sex is very important and a need for men. What are young men supposed to do in the meantime? So she's dealing with reality. And what, what, how do you solve that? I don't know, but that's the thing to solve. That is the problem to solve for sure. Kenneth Owens said in here that a lot of men in the replies and the comments said that they answered the question. Like I said, let's use discipline, but that's not realistic to really answer Pearl's concern. Men, you're not going to be, most men are not going to be, what percentage of men are going to go to age 30? Men right now, the average age, I believe it is, is 31 getting married. Well, you, they're not going <laughs> all the way to 31 without a little prawn hub or at least in their life. It's just what percentage do you think make it there between prawn hub and actually having relationships, sex? It's, it's not... Not many. And she, Candace Owen says, because they are men, not pervs, they recognize the ills of prawn. The idea that of a woman defending prawn doesn't seem to impress them. That's not what she's doing. Pearl is not defending prawn. prawn. Men can say one thing for likes. This is what Pearl said. Men can say one thing for likes, but watch what they do. Women are not marrying young, and there has been an explosion of online sex work. It's a serious question if women don't want to sleep with young men and young women don't want to get married, what do you expect young men to do? Shaming them isn't going to do anything. I'm all for shame. I think that has to be done uh, as long as it's not violating anybody's rights. But that's not going to, that alone is not handling this. To me, from a government standpoint, this is the type of thing, this is my takeaway. Why is it Pearl and Candace Owens and then other people getting involved talking about this topic and it's not our the people we pay to be public servants? There should be a huge cut in spending in general in D.C., but there should be tax breaks, not just not for marriage, I don't think, but for having kids while married. Uh, if we're going to do that, I don't like having to acknowledge marriage through the government, but if we're going to have that system, then I think we need to start going, why haven't we talked about that yet? Why haven't we talked about... <laughs> so you could incentivize... A t you, this, is the Harris, this is the Harrison Buckter, uh, Butker speech, where he's saying, you're coming out of college, I know you're going to be looking for, forward to your job, but the most exciting thing, I think, for most of you is going to be taking care of your family and your family... When, since when has that been a controversial statement? And right now they're not even looking for family. Give somebody some type of incentive when they're 25, 24, 23, 22 to try and start a family. Even if, you know, housing interest rates are crazy high now. Housing prices are high in many areas. So you, you want room to have a kid, but uh, if you give people some incentives, maybe they could afford it. Uh, maybe you do some things like that. But this is the conversation we should have. I'm not judging our society on GDP. Um, I'm judging it on things like this. Are, are men unliving themselves? Are 
What, yeah, what's the unliving themselves rate? What, what are we safe outside? Are we reproducing to keep our culture, our society um, alive, basically? <laughs> Birth rates and marriage rates and stuff like that. That's the true test of a real society. Let me know what you think. And we'll see if we continue on this Pearl Arc. Great conversation. Middle MAG.